Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. And I'm Mark Rover. Today we're going to be doing a bunch of oobleck experiments, and that's just a mixture of cornstarch and water, which is called a non-Newtonian fluid. Which is basically a substance that, depending on the strain rate, it's either a solid or a liquid. Like, silly putty. So we're gonna find out exactly how tough this stuff is. It can resist a punch, but can it resist a bullet? What about a chainsaw? So for our first oobleck experiment, we're going to cut it with a chainsaw blade. And here's what I think will happen. If the oobleck behaves like a solid, it will get caught in the chainsaw blade and go that way. And if it acts like a liquid, it will just fall straight down like it's not even affected by the chainsaw blade. All right, here we go. I made it in there because I missed last time. Let's check the high speed. Okay. There, boom. Oh, like it's like shooting out at the bottom. <laughs> oh, there goes the balloon. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's like dragging it along the chain. It's shooting it forward. Oh, and then I hit this part too. All right, let's compare that to a water balloon. Mark grabbed the chainsaw and went to action. And you can see that the water did not catch on the chainsaw. In fact, it just fell right through the chainsaw blade like it wasn't even there. For our next test, we're going to shoot a balloon filled with oobleck with a BB gun to see what a sharp, fast, concentrated force does to the oobleck. Three, two, one. First, we're shooting the oobleck balloon, and then we're comparing it to a plain old water balloon. Now, do you think that either one of these will be more bulletproof than the other? This is the oobleck balloon, and if you look behind it, the BB actually made it through. You can see it coming out the back right now. That's pretty surprising. I thought the oobleck would definitely stop it. Now it's time for the water balloon. And it looks like the BB got caught, but if you look over to the side, you can see it falling down and hitting the table right there. Then it gets washed away by the tidal wave. And it looks pretty cool. So I tried this again also. I did another water balloon, but with aluminum powder, because I thought it would make a cool color on camera. And you can see the BB flew right through that too. And ended up with a pretty ugly color. Anyway. Okay, so we saw how the oobleck would react to a small high velocity projectile. It concentrates a lot of force in a small area. Now, we're going to see how the oobleck reacts to a large blunt force from my golf ball cannon. Uh, Mark, can you turn this off? Nope. You ready for the boom ducky? <laughs> no, you gotta wear them on your ears. In three, two, one. I don't even know where the golf ball went. So here it comes, out of the gun. No! Whoa! Oh my Look at that. gosh! Definitely acted like a solid. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That isn't, because it's like chunks. Yeah, it just shattered it. Dude, the first couple seconds of impact are like, it looks like something out of Star Wars, or just yeah. like some special, just like... Like the outside shooting, the outside shooting. Like shoot. that first shot, it's like yeah. spin, like that. Like, yeah. It looks like little lightning spindles. Yes. It's almost a pattern, like it's from the golf ball's dimples that, oh, yeah, that come out that way. Oh yeah, you're right. That is one of the craziest oh. things I've ever seen. All right, now it's time for the water balloon. This propane cannon can shoot a golf ball at over 300 feet per second, which gives it the same impact energy as a 38 Special. And while I've got this propane rifle and a high-speed camera, we might as well see what happens when I shoot it at a watermelon. Two. One. I think it's safe to say that this watermelon didn't stand a chance. That golf ball went right through it like a golf ball through a watermelon. And this isn't an advertisement for Fresca, but I mean, if you guys want to send me some, that's okay too. Luckily, none of this watermelon went to waste. You want some watermelon? In this oobleck balloon, I put a firecracker on the inside of it, so we'll get to see the explosion from the inside out and see what happens. Will it contain the explosion or will it just burst right through like nothing was even there? Let's find out. Three, two, one.
Cool. You can see the force of that explosion transfer right into the table and the whole thing made of solid wood starts wobbling. And then it sprays this oobleck everywhere. I'm covered, completely covered. Everything is covered in oobleck. So while we were out here filming the oobleck videos, we also filmed some videos for Mark's channel. So we had two grenades, one fell in the pool and one stayed on the pool deck. One of us jumped in the pool and one of us stayed on land. If you want to see who survived in his video and the science as to why they survived. So click this here and check the link out in the video description. It'll take you to the video and check out his channel while you're at it. He's got a bunch of really cool ideas and science explanations. So we'll see you there. Wait, this was a prop grenade, right? I didn't buy prop grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to check out Mark's video to see me get blown up with a grenade. And again, thank you to Nathan at aimedresearch.com for providing an affordable high-speed camera rental service. Check that out too. See you guys. Bye.